Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on changing the character's base animation blend space when the character equip the sword. So here as you can see the base moment blend play blend space is changed to something that is suitable for a character holding a weapon. So when I put back the sword now you can see the character has this regular unarmed moment blend space act, uh, effect in the animation but once the character equip the sword it goes to this armed moment state so switching of this moment blend space dynamically that's what we are going to work on today so even though this series is based on uh, using the gameplay ability system to implement our character and all the systems within that this part is somewhat common it's not necessarily uh, exclusive or anything for the gameplay ability system this is general thing that we need to address regardless of you are using gameplay ability system or whatever the other methods that you are using or the architecture that you are using to program your system so yeah let's see how to do this today and before we get started I'd like to remind you, you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel once you become a member in the Patreon page. So you can download anything without a limit for the membership. So feel free to check it out. I'll leave the link in description below. And let's get back to today's tutorial. Okay, so at the moment, if my character go into weapon equip mode, you see this it doesn't really match it have the same base movement as before like in the unarmed state and it and also if I try to do an attack you can see the foot is sliding and also if I unequip and do equip while moving you see foot is sliding so I need to fix those problems so the first thing I need to fix is having a separate state, separate animation blend space used when the character is moving. So I have created this blend space. See? So here you can see this is the regular motion the character will have. And I need to use this motion, this base motion locomotion animations when the character has equipped the sword so to implement that let me first open my character and then let's open animation blueprint so this is a child of this base animation class abp many so this is where we need to make changes now here in the anim graph you can see under locomotion we have idle and walk and run so in the walk and run you can see this blend space and in the idle you see this idle animation this one so so as i said i have already created this animation blend space now if you don't know how to create an animation blend space like this it's like this right click animation under legacy blend space 1d and then you have to select the skeleton of the character that you are trying to create the animation blend space for after that you will have something like this and you can drag and drop animations into this line so here i have named the horizontal axis as speed and maximum value is 500 we may have to change these things but Let's just first get this animation blend space to work inside the animation blueprint and then after that let's do the changes as required. Okay, so now for this, is when I have equipped a sword, I need to play this animation. So let me drag and drop it here and this is for idle state so 
how do we plan these two animations for that i think it would be better if i create a uh, enumeration to determine to say which animation which weapon that i am currently holding so let's do like this let me create a folder enums because we might need more than one enums in future so the blueprints enumerations e weapons okay now first one on uh, and then let's say sword save now here i'll create a variable weapon and i'll choose e weapons okay now by default it will be unarmed that's fine here so we can do this blend forces by e weapons now that i have created this e weapons enumeration this appears if you have used a different name it will come under your name so default is this right click add sword so i don't want to add unarmed here because default would be unarmed so sword pose and i'll connect these weapons like this now if i compile now you see this uh, default pose is taking effect if i change this for the preview into sword you see now it goes to that uh, sword holding pose similarly i can have the same switch let me copy this and go to walk and run and paste it this as before this is default and then i need this sword and shield blend space the speed will be same for this one too like this okay now only for demonstration let me set the default value to sword now when i play now you see the character is having that that movement as in the armed state now if i get the sword first sword like this you can see the animation matches now let's see how to dynamically change that by default i need to have unarmed so here in the bp character blueprint i have this equip weapon and unequip weapon now let me go um, then for equip weapon i'll add the input and use the parameter e weapon and i'll call it weapon and as the default value i'll set sword now here you have the weapon sword so this is for the character blueprint and for the animation blueprint also we need a way to change this weapon blueprint a weapon variable value do i have any interfaces defined for this i don't okay so that's fine maybe we should create a new folder for interfaces and let's create a new one epi character animation okay here update weapon 
and also I'll add an input e weapons weapon okay now let's implement this interface on the animation blueprint PPI character animations here update weapon I'll simply set whatever passed into this function like this. Okay, now I'll call this function, this event or function from here. Maybe up to this, yeah. Get the mesh anim instance call update weapon and set it like this okay and also when we unequip we need to call the same but this time we need to select unarmed as the default option right and now we are calling this equip weapon from one of our abilities here it's already selected as sword because that was the default value so we don't need to change anything now let's see so we have the default movement and when I have a weapon and if I equip the weapon now I goes into this this moment so it's working dynamically and if I press 0 and unequip now you see we are back in the regular animations so yeah that's all I wanted to do for today and i will look into the layered animations in the next episode uh, where we will fix the foot sliding issue for the characters when we do the equip and unequip uh, montages so let's quickly test this for multiplayer and see if the replication is working it should work we have done everything we have to do for replications already because we are using the gameplayability system yeah everything is synced properly see you can see or oh, no not really it's not replicated from client to client see now here you see this guy has the regular motion but it should have this armed blend space instead of that but I think it's properly replicated into the server well I leave the replication part into the next episode so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below feel free to let me know your comments thoughts anything that you think about this series in the comments below and see you in another episode goodbye